In this week's art lab, we'll be making a landscape. This is a very simple version for younger kids in kindergarten through second grade. Landscape is art about somewhere outside and it has to have a sky and a ground. And the line that separates the sky and the ground is called a horizon line. This way is gonna be the sky and this way is going to be the ground. You're not always going to see a horizon line in a landscape drawing because there might be mountains or trees or something else that is covering up the line. So then I'll erase this and it's still gonna have a ground and a sky. It's still going to be a landscape drawing, but we just don't see the horizon line. This is still gonna be sky, this is still gonna be ground, but we don't see that actual line. Another thing we're gonna talk about with this drawing is foreground, middle ground, and background. Foreground is whatever you see in the front of your picture. So when you draw a picture, it's gonna be on the bottom. Whatever you see closest to you is gonna be drawn on the bottom. The middle ground is whatever you see in the middle. And the background is whatever you see the furthest away. And that is gonna be by the top of your paper. So let's start with the foreground. For the foreground, I think I want to do a nice little hill. And for the middle ground, I think I want to have big mountains. And the background is going to be my sky. And maybe I'll add some clouds. So now I have my foreground the hill that's closest to me, the middle ground, the mountain that is behind the hill but in front of the sky, and the background, the sky that is way far back away. Now that I have my three areas, foreground, middle ground, background, I'm going to start to add some original ideas. And this is a magical landscape, so you don't have to draw things that are real. You can make up things on your own that you would like to draw. So I think on my hill, I have a cake house. So this is my cupcake house. And notice that I drew right over that line for the hill. If that happens, all you have to erase is whatever line that you don't need anymore. That is one reason why we usually like to draw with pencil first and then erase whatever lines you don't need. And then maybe there's a candy wrapper. Mine is gonna be like a candy land. And then instead of flowers, maybe I have some lollipops. Maybe I'll add some texture of the grass. Texture is how something feels if you are to actually touch it. So if you touch grass, it's gonna be kind of like a prickly feeling. So I'm adding prickly texture so that it looks like this hill is made with grass. Now I'm going to start to add some details to the middle ground. For my middle ground, I did mountains. So maybe I have chocolate syrup mountain. Chocolate syrup is running down the top of the mountain for my candy land. And also, let's add a rainbow. Rainbows have seven colors. But if you don't have an indigo in your coloring set and you don't want to try mixing the colors, you can also do a six color rainbow. In the background, I think I want to change my clouds into a cotton candy cloud. Maybe they have cute little faces. And then maybe I want to add a rainbow elf. You might know him as Roy G. Bibb. 
If you have a different rosy bib that you designed that you want to add to your landscape, that is absolutely okay too. Here's my finished drawing of my magical landscape with a foreground, middle ground, and the background with all of these magical details. When you're finished, then let's trace our pencil line so that we can see it a little bit better. This is called tracing and you just draw exactly the same right over the pencil lines that you did in the beginning. I would recommend using a permanent marker like a Sharpie marker. That way you can paint over it if you decide to do so later. But if you want to use crayons, or a different kind of marker, or even a colored pencil that's a little bit darker, that is okay too. If you have little tiny things that you can't get with a thick marker, you can also switch your tracing tools. So I have my thick marker that I did most of it, but for the details, those are little things. Like the cloud's eyes and the face. I'm going to use a skinnier marker. Okay, so now I have traced, and the last thing we're going to do this week is to erase the pencils. So if you use something like crayons to trace, it might be kind of hard to erase just your, your pencils, so you can leave them. But if you use markers, you can erase the pencils. Like you can see, I have some pencils here and here showing. If you erase that, it's gonna look extra neat. When you erase, make sure the paper doesn't get wrinkly by holding it with your other hand. Gently go over any pencil marks that you see. The neater you work with tracing, the less erasing you have to do later. So take your time. You don't have to rush your art projects. So here's my picture where I drew a landscape. That's a picture that has a sky and a ground. And I added a foreground, that something in the front, middle ground, things in the middle, background, things that are far away, which is gonna usually be the sky in landscape drawings. I then traced it with markers and I erased the pencil marks to make it a neat drawing. Next time I will show you how I'm going to color this drawing. 